So the second leg of the Spanish Cup quarterfinal, we're down, but as we saw last episode, everything can change very, very quickly. So we could easily go back ahead. At the same time, we could easily go 6-0 down. It's one of the two. Hello and welcome back to the Real Dayal. Today we have got the second leg of the Copa del Rey quarterfinals against Athletic Bilbao and then we've got Real Sociedad in the league as well. Only the one game we played in between episodes and it was it was a 4-0 loss to Espanyol. So, brilliant. I don't really know what went wrong. Uh, we just weren't very good and then to top it all off, Berke Urza scored an own goal. So, great stuff. Hopefully, that's just a little blip that we're going to get over. Hopefully, today we'll, we'll come back and get a win against Bilbao and then a win against Real Sociedad. Table-wise, it didn't really change much. As you can see, we're still sitting 12th. That's sort of lower mid-table region, 26 points. A lot of teams on 26 points as well. Uh, again, still a long way off Valencia in 10th. Still a long way off the relegation zone. It's kind of just where we're going to be sitting this season, I think. Good news is, Sunset finally signed a new contract. So, we've got an £8.7 million release fee clause, which is pretty good. So, if uh, either of those Milan sides come knocking now, I'll quote them that, and if they want to pay it, that's fine by me. Other than that, there's no new transfer news. There may be a few things coming towards deadline day at the end, but I'm not looking to sign anyone else just yet. So this is the lineup for today's game. Burke stays in goal despite conceding four last game. Uh, Varela, Pinto, George, who actually... Uh, do we stick with George or we bring Katic in? I reckon we stick with George, although actually we'll make him a centre-back on defend. And then David Cameron comes in as full-back. Dorsch, Fibas and Borja Fernandes start in that midfield trio. Uh, Cordoba and Cantor, what your name is, on the wings. And Lozano starts up front, who is... He's not scored for a little while, I've got to say. Uh, when was the last time he scored? Uh, last time he scored a goal was against Vigo last year, December. We're now nearly February. He's a weird player, is Lozano. He's either really, really in form or really, really out of form. It's, it's a bit weird. Right, kickoff is upon us today. And what is this pitch? It is, it's a square. What is going on? I mean, this looks ridiculous. This, this genuinely looks ridiculous. If I can't really zoom in much more than... I can't zoom in more than that because otherwise the, the line... It won't let me zoom in more than that. That's what I'm trying to say. We'll have to deal with it then, I suppose, for this game. A little bit annoying. Bilbao obviously playing on a very weird pitch. Of course, there they are. 3-2 up with three away goals. Uh, I always forget to check. Do away goals count? Away goals are used after 90 minutes. So... Interesting. So we need to score two here if we want to progress, and that's going to be tough at Bilbao. Uh, I have just realised as well, I think I actually was thinking of changing to the five at the back system, uh, more counter-attacking away from home, but we, we, we've gone for this now, so we have to stick with it. Chance for us though, 22 minutes into today's game, the first highlight of it. Can tell what your name is. Trying to come forward, plays it out to Feebas, who puts a, um, just a mile-long ball over to Cordoba, who uh, manages to lose it, unfortunately. And Bilbao can come forward now. Uh, another chap on the ball for them into Penna, and uh, they've hit the post already. I won't be too upset if we end up losing this uh, quarter-final to Bilbao. They're a better side than us. Uh, we're not quite there yet in terms of getting to the cup finals or being in the top half of the table, let alone cup finals and things like that. Would be nice, though, to get to a final and have a chance of trying to get Europa League football for next season. Although, as the, the clock ticks down, it gets slimmer and slimmer by the minute. Corner for Bilbao comes in and clear, but only as far as Lopez on this really, really weird pitch. Uh, Lopez, he, go, he, and he runs about a mile to get out to the edge of the box. That's how big the pitch is. Uh, but Cantel puts a great ball forward to Lozano, who is surrounded by men there. Couldn't really do much uh, as he gets tackled there in the attacking third. Their ball forward, not the best. George gets in the way and Pedro Pinto now with a chance to clear things. Varela makes the short journey up the pitch, but it's a long journey across the pitch. He gets tackled, though, and again, this midfield battle isn't working out for us as Kappa puts a great ball into middle, and it's a, a penalty. OK. Well, I think this could be the first penalty we've faced this season, which is it seems like a weird thing, that, but there they go. They've scored it. Well, three goals is what we need now. Three goals. Can we grab one of those three just before half-time, or are Bilbao... Gonna grab another one. Yeah, yeah. Bilbao <laughs> grab another one. Okay. Four goals now we need. Three goals actually will take it to extra time. Uh, four goals needed to win it outright. Well, last time we were 2 up at half time and then we lost 3 2. So maybe we're gonna do the same to Bilbao now. Aggressively, show me something else in the second half. 
And uh, we're not going to score goals with just one striker. So we're going to move Dorsch up to attack. Uh, De Thomas is going to come on as a Trek with Tista as well. And Fivas will become an advanced playmaker on attack. And we'll go attacking as well. Maybe that might change things. Right, chance now for us. Very early in the second half. Lozano coming forward. Cordoba puts the ball across. Borja Fernandez is there. Brilliant. That's one goal back. Three more boys. Let's do this. I don't want to say David Cameron was at fault for both the Bilbao goals, but he's sitting on a 5.9 right now. Uh, and that usually means you've been at fault for two goals. Not that I want to blame him. You know, he gets blamed for a lot in his political career. I don't want to blame him for his own football career, but the evidence does point towards him. He'll refute it, of course, but the evidence does suggest otherwise as we head it clear of their attack and a ball forward to De Thomas. What a ball that was. And De Thomas makes it 2 all. This is a complete turnaround from last game. The momentum is now with us. Let's go and grab two more goals and get into a semi-final. Oh, that was a highlight straight from kickoff as well. This is exciting now, although they are coming forward through the centre of the pitch. Uh, they're still coming forward. Benat now on the ball. Calderon gets it off to bat. I thought he was going to tackle there, but he didn't. They're still passing it around nicely out to the wing. Can they get a decent crossing? Calderon now on the ball into Williams, saved by Burke. Come on, let's get them on the counter-attack. Counter-attack. Lozano on the ball on the edge of the area. Puts it into the Thomas. Cleared, but only as far as David Cameron. He puts it back to Feebas. Feebas has scored the goal. I mean, that was really high, and that's me being a bit dramatic. I mean, what an absolute turnaround all of a sudden. It, within 10 minutes of the second half, we're now winning. Uh, level on aggregate again. We just need another goal to send us through. It's all with us right now. Let's not get too carried away, though, because there's still half an hour to go. To Thomas on the ball on the edge of the area into Borja Fernandez. George is there. We, I, what is happening? All of a sudden, we have turned the style on. It is now Bilbao 2, Oviedo 4. Okay, so on aggregate, we were 2 0 up. Then we were 3 2 down. Then we were 5 2 down. And now we're 6 5 up. This is ridiculous, but I absolutely love it. I love football. Varela plays back to Burke after that little interception. Burke can now clear a ball up towards our strikers. It, oh, I thought about to get an interception there, but we didn't. David Cameron heads it down to Cantel, what your name is. Cantel, what your name is, into Feebas. Although the, the ball forward wasn't the best. And now Alex coming forward. Don't do this to his Bill Bow. Burke with a huge save. Free kick for us. Borja Fernandez puts it in, cleared away, but only as far as Borja Fernandez himself. He plays back to George, into Pedro Pinto, out to Cordoba, who's on a yellow car. We may take him off uh, if that's risky. Varela puts it across him, but it's not very good. Goes straight to the goalkeeper, who now has a chance to show his distribution for Bilbao, which isn't very good. Lozano picks up the loose ball. Fibas into. Oh, I thought Randall Thomas was blocked there. Unfortunately, he didn't quite get there. And again, Distribution from the Bilbao goalkeeper, not what you even say there, goalkeeper meant to say, not very good. We lose possession, although, and uh, here comes Pina, what a tackle. Alex, is, ah, four all, four three rather, six all on aggregate. Although again, another highlight straight from kickoff. I wanted just a nice quiet game, we'd win it one or two nil, that would be fine. No, it's going absolutely crazy. Uh, the ball forward, not quite good enough, so the Fibas does collect it to Thomas. His ball again, not the best. He's messed up a few passes today, although he's back on it again. Third time lucky to Lozano. Fibas into Cordoba, although it's just taken off him at the last second. The ball forward from Bilbao, not the best. And again, we can build in this game. Lozano now on the ball. Lozano into the Thomas. How's he put that wide? Oh, how's he put that wide? Actually, we are going to win, aren't we, still? We're winning on away goals, technically. So just stay at 4 all. That's oh, a 6 all. That's fine by me. Borja Fernandez into Fibas. Lozano now on the ball over the bar. It does not matter. We're still winning on away goals, I've just realised. Right, a couple of tired faces out there. Katic is going to come on for George, who's looking very tired, although George has played very well today. Defensive centre-back. Uh, Fibas also looking really tired out there, so we'll take him off. Uh, Sunset can stay on the pitch. We may make one more change later on, but I don't know who yet. Chance now for Bill Bow, although they lose possession, and we have the ball back. Lozano now, look for that pass to Rauda Thomas, all out to the wing, gets it out to Cantel. Cantel tackled in the area, should have put a first-time ball in, really, I think, and now... Here come Bill Bow. This is end-to-end -end stuff, which 
I, I, I like, but when it's this close in a cup game, I'm not that keen on. Uh, Sunset loses the ball there, unfortunately. And Bilbao, again, come forward, exposing our left-hand side there. Burke with a huge save. Just hold on, boys. Highlights really coming thick and fast now, and it's our chance now as Lozano denied by the woodwork there, apparently, by the commentary. Again, if this is such a close, tight game. Both teams do not want to lose this, and... We are going to lose it now if results stay like this. We have to push forward now. Uh, we'll stay on attacking. Push forward, boys. We've got four minutes plus at a time to grab technically an equaliser, an aggregate score. It's four all on the night. Seven, six to, of, uh, to Bill Bow right now. We've got five minutes to grab a winner in this game. We're, we're all doing all that we can. We're on overload now. Come on, the clock is ticking down. Please, I don't want to go out like this. Not like this. Not like this. Oh, it was like that. Well, an absolutely thrilling game and um, a pretty decent first, uh, second half from us. Second half was, well, the first 10 minutes for the second half was absolutely incredible. Calmly, unlucky boys wasn't meant to be. We're not going to be in the semi-finals, but what a game and performance we did there. Well, we're out in the quarterfinals for the second time in, in two seasons now, which is a little bit annoying, although we, I don't think we were expected to get much further than that at all, so I can't complain too much. So it's currently deadline day. Uh, I'm not bothered about anything. Uh, I don't think there's any more transfers I really want to make now. Uh, if someone comes in for Sunset, like I said before, for 8 million, that's fine. However, I don't think at this late stage anyone will come in for him. I mean, a club that I, I've not really got a clue who they are. Second Division B want Jeremy on loan. Well, no, because he's we might need him. He's played the odd game as Jeremy. Uh, not very many and not played particularly well, but he is a, a nice backup to have. Our youngster, Julio Diaz, also getting a bit of interest from Second Division side. There's a bit earlier on from... Uh, I can't remember what it was now, to be fair, but Las Palmas now interested in him. We're going to reject it, of course, because we want to keep him. He's a decent player, but uh, interesting that they're interested in him. And there we go. Just like that, deadline day is over. Just need to confirm the squad registration, although nothing's changed in it, apparently. I have to do it anyway. No one came for Sunset in the end, so no £8 million profit, which is a little bit annoying, but we'll be fine. We didn't need it anyway. It just would have been nice to have it if it came in. Well... Considering that second half was so good against Bilbao, I think we're going to just do this then. Sort of do what we did in the second half against Bilbao, but hopefully get a win against Real San Sebastian. Watch it now completely backfire. Right, kickoff is upon us, and we are really zoomed in, of course, because last game had that ridiculous pitch. Now we're back onto the more usual normal size pitch and zoom back out again. And Adnan Yanazai, who somehow is playing for Real Sociedad, sets up his mate. 20 seconds into the game. Brilliant. What a start that was then. Uh, brilliant. Okay. Well, it's a good job that we uh, were playing a formation where we scored four goals in like 10, 15, 20 minutes or something like that. Hopefully, we can do that again as uh, we look to come forward. We lose possession. Janssen coming forward now for Sociedad into Lorente. Out to Yanazai. George makes a nice interception though, but only... Oh, oh I say only. Got to Lozano in the end. I thought the defender got there instead, but did Thomas... <sighs> narrowly misses there as well. Come on, boys. Looking at the stats, maybe the formation we're using only worked for those 10 minutes. You know, it's not really working now, is it? Maybe it only works on a really dodgy size square pitch. Maybe that's also one of the reasons that we are eight shots down to one shot, one nil down as well. Although, a chance now as Lozano puts it into corner, but into Rauder Thomas cleared, though, at the last second. We're coming forward again, though. Varela on the ball in towards the Thomas, who does get there. It's now one all. We're back into this. Maybe I just need to keep slating things and then we suddenly score. David Cameron now with the throw in. Uh, Cantel wins the ball, although De Thomas then goes and loses it. And Janssen can come forward for Sociedad now towards the end of this first half. A decent ball out, but Cordoba can read it, gets in the way. Lozano now on the ball for us, trying to come down his left hand side. Tries to beat his men, but can't get past them, so plays it back instead. And this time the ball forward to Lozano, gets to him. He. Oh, Put the, he's won the ball back. What a save by the goalkeeper in the end. He put the ball across. A fantastic interception, but they then got the tackle. And his shot 
was denied by the goalkeeper with a fingertip save probably. Borja Fernandes into Cordoba loses the ball and that's going to be the end of the highlight I'd imagine unless Adnan Yanezai can do something from this counter-attack comes forward but Rella makes a tackle end of the highlights. Well a pretty highlightless first half but it's one apiece right now at half time hopefully we can go on in the second half and kick off a little bit because we've not really gotten to this game yet. So early in this second half Thomas has a chance to come forward he brings it down the wing Oh, somehow we've not we've had a good few chances this game I've got to say somehow we've not scored it there came off two players to have shots and it didn't go in the back of a net we are knocking on the door Thomas now on the ball again puts it back into counter what your name is Lozano just over the bar we are coming so close oh don't do this now here come Real San Sebastian they've just put it wide as well there's end-to-end -end stuff now. Decent chances for both sides. I feel like one goal is going to win it. Neither of our wingers playing very well. So I'm going to move to the diamond, I think. We'll bring Williams on in CDM. We'll bring DR on in attacking midfield. Maybe the diamond will work out for us. Maybe this will be good uh, at the same time. Could be awful. So Thomas now gets tackled on the edge of the area by Wast. And here come Real Sociedad on the counter-attack into their striker. He gets tackled by David Cameron. There we go. Solid defence from him. I love him. Right, David Cameron with the throw-in into Fibas, into Diara, out to Varela, who wins the ball. Varela, just pop it off to someone, please. De Thomas, ah, over the bar. We're coming so close. How close can we get without scoring? So many times it's happened. We deserve more out of this game. We really deserve more out of this game. The chances we've created are beautiful. We should be picking up the three points today. But as the clock ticks down, I can just imagine, here they go, I can just imagine Sociedad getting a, uh, a late winner. Although we, we have lost possession, Yanazai on the ball again, puts it forward towards Rodriguez, although Varela can uh, sort of see it, see it out to the defenders there. With we've, we've cleared the ball-ish. David Cameron, you've got space to run. Get it past, knock it past him, use your pace. David, please, yeah, he's not used his pace. He's been tackled. It's probably because he's... Must be 50 or so now, really, in real life, David Cameron. Uh, Yanazai now on the ball. I mean, uh, this is not looking good for us. The cross comes in. It's oh, nearly in. Either way, it's been a very, very close match. I feel like we deserve a winner, but I'm sure the uh, Sociedad manager will be saying the same thing. Corner now, right at the end of the game to Thomas. On the edge of the area. It goes in the back of the net. It took a huge deflection off Yanazai. Do I care? Not a chance. It's 2-1 in the 87th minute. Now we just need to hold on for a few more moments. We'll move up to 11th in the table, uh, taking over Betis. Still four points behind Bill Bow, but we're slowly creeping back towards that top 10, slowly starting to catch up with some of those teams there. The clock is ticking down. De Thomas wins his header, although it goes straight back to their goalkeeper. He clears it up, and with only a few seconds left, their ball forward wasn't very good. It's all over. Oviedo 2. Real San Sebastian or Real Sociedad won. Brilliant stuff that. Fantastic win passionately. That was special. Uh, it wasn't really special. We, we, we should have won that so I'm happy. Fantastic stuff that then. Finishing the episode off in 11th. Still pretty mid-table as I say. Uh, next episode then as the Thomas is on form as he scores two goals. Fantastic stuff. Next episode I reckon we're going to do Malaga once again because I've got the scarf. I'm in Nottingham. Here we go, I can finally show you it. The Malaga scarf that I've had for a long, long time, actually. You can probably tell it's been there for a long time. Uh, but here we go, a Malaga scarf. So next episode then, Malaga and Atletico Madrid, I reckon. Uh, we beat both these sides earlier. We definitely beat Atletico. Did we beat Malaga earlier on this season? I think we lost to them, actually. I can't see it. There we go, Malaga lost 2-1, but Atletico did win 2-1. So hopefully... Uh, we can beat them both this time. Thank you very much for watching today's episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you have done, make sure you do drop a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're new around here. And I will see you next time for some more Real Deal action.